everybody, Miss Harriet here. I hope you are all fantastic today. Welcome to our maths class. Yes. So, this week's special number is the number... Can you all see that? It's zero. Yes, zero. Okay, so zero represents nothing. Okay, so I'm going to show you some examples. Okay, so if I have two sweets, okay, two sweets, and then I eat them. <gasps> okay, so I've eaten my two sweets. How many do I have left? I have eaten two sweets then I have no sweets left so I have zero okay okay so for example what about if I have four sticks I have four sticks and then I give all my sticks to my friend Miss Ursula so I give all of my sticks to my friend Miss Ursula. Then I will have, or she will have one, two, three, and four. So I then have, I have zero. I have zero. I have no sweets or no sticks if I give them all to Miss Ursula. Okay? Good job everybody. Now we're going to have a look at how we write this number. Okay? So first of all we're going to start at the top and we go all the way around just like a circle. Okay? Let's try that a couple more times. So we go all the way round, just like that. All the way round, try and be as neat as possible. So I'll try it a couple of times on my own now. Just like this. Okay, good job everybody. Now can you all practice your circles, your zeros now. Your zeros. Just like mine. Good job. So zero, when we have our list of numbers, so we have, we start with number one, don't we? But if we have no numbers, then we have zero. So zero is kind of like a number before number one, okay? So we start with nothing, nothing at all, and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So they are all of our numbers. Okay, I have a couple more examples now. So if I have one carrot and then I eat all of this carrot and there's no carrot, that means I then have zero carrots. So I started with one and then I ate it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So then now I have zero carrots, no carrots, zero, 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 because I ate it. Okay, so I have one green pepper. If I eat this pepper, chop it up and cook it for lunch 
then I will have how many peppers? Good job everybody, zero. I will have no peppers because I ate it all for my lunch. Now, I have a red pepper, yes. And I'm going to chop it up and cook it for my dinner. So then I will be left with no more peppers. I will have zero peppers. Okay, everybody, that was today's maths class. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all again soon. Bye.